Okay, friends, for today's measuring activity, we're going to be measuring different capacities. And we're going to see that different sized containers hold different amounts of liquid or different amounts of objects. It doesn't have to be liquid. Maybe it's going to be rice or maybe cotton balls. So, the first thing that you're going to need to get for this activity is two different sized containers from your cupboards. You might need to ask an adult or someone older in your family to help you get them and make sure that they're two different sizes. So I got one of my drinking glasses and I got one of my takeout um, containers um, from my cupboard. So these are going to be my two things and I'm going to compare their capacity. The next thing that you're going to need is either some tape or a washable marker. And this is what we're going to use to mark a line on both of our containers. So you need either a washable marker or a piece of tape. And then the last thing that you're going to need is a measuring cup. Now, some of you might have measuring cups that look a little bit different, and that's okay. Just ask an adult in your family to help you find one of your measuring cups. Okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to either take your marker or your piece of tape and you're going to make a line on both of these containers at the same spot. You might need to get an adult to help you, but I think you guys can do it. Let's move it closer so you can see. So, I'm going to choose whatever spot I like. I'm going to start on this, on this one and I'm just going to make a line here. Now make sure if you are using a marker that you're using a washable marker and not a permanent marker because we don't want to stain our, our containers. This will come off with soap and water. So we're just going to make a line there and then we're going to match it up to our other cup. And we're going to try to make it so that the line is at the exact same spot. Do you see that friends? That my line is at the same spot. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up both of these containers to the line. Okay, so I will be right back, and when I come back, these will be filled up with water, like magic. Ready? Okay, friends, we're back, and my containers are both filled with water. Now, as you can see, they're both at the same level. Now, just because they're both at the same height, does that mean that they have the same capacity? So I want you to think about, do you think these containers or the containers that you have at home, do you think they have the same amount of water in each container? I want you to think about that and talk with someone in your family. Okay, now it's time to measure. So to measure, we're gonna need our measuring cup. Now, I'm on my desk right now, so we're gonna switch on over to my kitchen, so that way we have a nice sink so that if we spill any of our water, it's not gonna get all over anything. So either go into your bathroom or into your kitchen so you can do this over your sink. Okay friends, welcome to my kitchen. Now I'm right over top of my sink so I have a safe place to do my measuring. So you can have an adult help you or maybe a brother or a sister if they're older and they can help you. And you're going to take your measuring cup and your first container and you're going to measure. So I'm going to pour it in. Now I think you can maybe see in the light the shadow. So my first container it filled up not even a whole cup, so less than a cup. So if I was going to record this on a piece of paper, container number one has less than one cup of water. So you can put it back in. I'm going to do it over the sink in case I spill. Now I'm going to measure my big container and see how much water is in this one. So again, over my sink, and I'm going to measure. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, 
there's four and a little bit more. So even though these containers were both filled up to the same line, they both had different capacities. When you do this activity, I want you to talk with someone in your family and think about why were they different? What's so different about these containers that this one could only hold less than one cup and this one could hold four cups? I can't wait to see your learning friends. You can either write it down, you can make a video, you can do whatever you'd like to show me how you've done this activity. I can't wait to see.